Manager David Webb was presented with a gallon of whiskey, part of his prize for being voted 4th Division Manager of the Month for April. And comedian Jim Davidson, a director of the club, received a cheque for £25,000. Bournemouth's payout after ensuring themselves against promotion at the start of the season. David Webb, you've seen a bit, you've done a bit, but this day's got to be a little bit special, I would think, very, for you. Very special. It's very, very special for me, very special for the town. Jim, particularly, you know, he's my best signing yet. <laughs> and, uh, we're we're going to go somewhere. He has been a fair signing, Jim Davidson as a director. Jim, a special day for you as well, and there was talk of, in fact, you doing a streak around the pitch at one stage. <laughs> I was a bit cold now for that. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people wouldn't see. Uh, <laughs> but it's a very special day. It started to rain a little bit, that's put the end to the streak, but we'll have some good football, and hopefully, well, if this man stays with us, and all the town stays with us, and hopefully the country, hello viewers, we'll, uh, we'll catch up dear old Elton John. And reflecting the mood of a popular board of directors and a popular manager, the players come to greet the fans, and the fans greet the players. There's no feeling in football quite like this. Players all carrying flowers, which they will throw to the spectators as a gesture of appreciation for the way that they have stuck with them and the way they have followed them on some of the longest journeys in the Football League. And a check on the full lineup. It will play with four men up and just two in midfield as it does at home and away. A recipe not only for successful football but a recipe for keeping out the opposition as well as putting them in at the other end. And Hereford take the field, determined that they are thus not just going to be a ritual sacrifice to complete the celebrations for the home side. Their lineup shows a full international with 34 caps. That's Adam Muschau, came to the fourth division from Poland two seasons ago. And it also includes, in Derek Showers, a former Bournemouth player. The check of the watch for Mr Martin Bodenham from Brighton. And the last game of the season at Dean Court begins. And straight away on the break, Bournemouth funnel putting Morgan through. Pull back for Tom Heffernan to come into the move. The move has lost a bit of its impetus and Hereford have got players back. Bournemouth in all red with the white band across the chest, wearing today a very smart new strip. And the attempted cross by Heffernan blocked. It's Mouchard. Assistance for him inspired. to take the throw. Keith Williams. Heffernan again. Inspiring to Musha. Blocked by Spackman. It's Chris Price. And goalkeeper Drew Brand who began his career with Everton four and a half years there as a pro and Hereford playing with five at the back with Mouchard in the sweeper's role and at the moment on the attack through White Phillips most lively looking mover and a good shot on the turn Stuart Phillips leading scorer for Hereford with uh, 15 goals did well there on the turn and good crisp shot smothered by Lee well we seem to have lost David Webb Jim where's he gone <laughs> well I'm looking at this match and they're very good Hereford so I think he's gone to the toilet actually he's, he's a little nervous you think um, yeah I think he is it was the last game I mean we've got promotion but he, he like to play well for the, for the spectators things not going particularly well at the moment they could really do with you out there I think don't you yeah well we've asked for another football actually uh, there's nothing wrong with that one, it's just that they won't pass it to us. <laughs> Jerry, back to you. 
can argue with Jim Davidson's assessment. Uh, Hereford looked well capable of giving Bournemouth a game here. It's a nice back heel from White to Price. And that's a good cross. And Phillips' header was a little too subtle. I think he deliberately guided that wide to the left when he might have done better to have gone for the bullet the other side. But he's a very promising looking lad, this tall, 20 years old, good on the turn, nice tight control, good in the air. And Peter Brignall. And Mouchard, absolutely one-legged there, just able to run that ball out of play. But uh, that'll be the opportunity for the substitution. Mouchard, the Polish international, goes off and Frank McGrellis comes on Be interesting to see what this means to Hereford tactically because uh, Mouchard is very important to them playing as a sweeper McGrellis is a striker in fact a couple of seasons ago he scored home and away against Bournemouth Sully challenge was by Spiring showers for White He's got Phillips ahead of him, and it's two against two. The Phillips going wide on the left, and the pass should have been played. And by the time it was delivered, Phillips had slipped and was in no position to make the challenge. If uh, White had played it sooner when it was two against two and Phillips had dropped off his man, there might have been possibilities. So far, waiting for the first goal to satisfy them on this celebratory afternoon. Harvey. Crawford. Still battling. Needs a chip. Tries to trip it inside the far post. And Hicks managed to block it. The brand was off his line. And if he'd been able to set himself for the chip, I think the goal was on. Harvey Grellis well found by Harvey Price number two ran across him there this is White Harvey Price now going through in the inside right channel Harvey bringing in White once again not a possession for Hereford but no obvious way through Grellis a touchback by M. Peter Lee before Hereford could contrive the strike. Pitch has been uh, watered in recent days and we had a pretty heavy shower between half past two and three o'clock. It's taken some of the hardness out of the pitch but it uh, looks quite bumpy and the ball played on the ground sometimes tends to stand up and make control difficult Morgan arriving if he'd controlled that the goal would have been at his mercy Morgan shakes his head a bit sadly that was a real chance and he should have made more of it Clear goal ahead of him. The control let him down. Corner cleared only as far as Williams on the volley. And a pick up for Drew Brand. Keith Williams. Now Jimmy Harbour. Price. Phillips. McGrellis. McGrellis. Good call by Harvey, who was in space. 
and he's found McGrillis again with a chance to shoot and Lee made a good save that was a well worked move by Hereford and it opened Bournemouth Harvey played a big part in that Crawford Harvey Lee out of his area to clear left foot and it struck Sully and White tries the first time shot Lee had lost his footing on the damp goal mouth and was very relieved to see it go wide Winston White did the right thing with the instant shot the chapter of errors and accidents there Sully and White pursuing the ball out comes uh, Lee Miss kicks his clearance and the ball strikes Sully White now knows that Lee is having a struggle to get back Lee slips but the ball has gone wide Funnel and Funnel has got past Pedrick Bartley comes back to the rescue and concedes the corner Funnel disappointed after having uh, managed to turn Pedrick and get goal side of him suddenly found that a little burst of acceleration by Danny Bartley robbed him of the ball coming up to half time Brand a good punch and White helps it further away and the half time whistle goes with the score Bournemouth nil Hereford nil and if we're disappointed not to have goals we can give both sides credit for a very enterprising and positive first half which has had its full share of attacking incidents but so far a blank score sheet Bournemouth nil Hereford nil If you're looking for better furniture, look in at your local courts. You'll find the famous names for quality and comfort. You'll find them at some of the lowest prices in town. That's a promise. You'll also find free delivery and free fitting on most carpets too. How's it done? Your local courts is one of a hundred branches up and down the country. So courts have the buying power that ensures a better deal. Look in at your local courts. You'll find better furniture well within your reach. Stewart. We've just protected this car with Simonized Liquid Diamond, the polymer sealant that cleans, shines, and seals in one. You know rock salt and alkalis are bad. How about battery acid? How about a blazing inferno? Look, nothing dulls the shine. Liquid Diamond seals in the shine. It shines on for up to two years. Simonized Liquid Diamond. It could end car waxing forever. On the day Bill Morton changed his brand of cigar to deliciously mild grandee, he acquired a faithful friend. Since then, his choice of pet has often changed. But never his choice of cigar. Deliciously mild grandee. A cigar to stick with for a change. Wake up to Magnet and Southerns and the widest range of doors you've ever seen. Wake up. Wake up to windows in softwood, PVC and beautiful natural hardwood. Double glazing too. Wake up. To a choice of ready assembled kitchens. To patio doors in PVC, aluminium or hardwood, all with safety glass. Wake up to the biggest selection of doors, windows and patio doors in Britain. Wake up to Magnet and Southerns.
Bournemouth kick off in the second half attacking the goal to our right no goals yet at Dean Court against Hereford United Heffernan missed it, but Brignall was behind him. Funnel's header. It's robbed by Morgan. Funnel! And a great save by Brand. Nothing wrong with a shot from Tony Funnel. But the goalkeeper made an excellent save. It's Morgan beating Hicks that gave the chance to Funnel. The shot was good, the save was better. Corner results. Tony Funnel tries to take a defender out as the corner is hit deep towards Impey. And there's another corner at the other end. Good header out by Hicks, Williams, Carter against White. And White has conceded another corner. Oh, the pressure on now from Bournemouth. Williams. Sully. Sully has run on for the return. Carter plays it in to Funnel. Funnel turn, he's got uh, Pedrick to beat. Support from Williams. Crawford. And Crawford on the turn puts it over. Good attempt. Bournemouth is beginning to show their true colours as the pressure mounts. Ball played in. Williams. Crawford pulls it down, turns well, gets under the shot. Barkley. jumping together Backman comes out with the ball Heffernan the ball to Spackman and that's a nice ball by Spackman and that's another good save by Brand from Crawford now Harvey Morgan's header at the far post just goes wide after some very good work by Spackman and by Crawford and another good save by goalkeeper Drew Brand at the end of it all Trevor Morgan's header just creeping past the post Jim Davidson this is a different team in the second half what, what did you say to them at half time? well I didn't say nothing I bought them all a meat pie oh it's getting noisy it's exciting Gerald could be a goal here Gerald back to you Crawford, and another good save by Brand, but the ball only as far as Sully, Sully the chip cross, head out by Bartley, Spackman can put it back in, Williams, Sully has stayed up, Heffernan is going forward, 21 people in the Hereford half of the field again now, but Bournemouth not able to get it into the area, Crawford was looking for a corner, but it's a goal kick. But this is the man who is very largely responsible for keeping Bournemouth out. And we can have a look here just back a couple of minutes ago at a fine save that he made from Andy Crawford. Nice shot of a beautifully balanced striker there and a good bit of goalkeeping to deny him. makes a mistake that lets in Funnel and Funnel 
Well, if Funnel had gone down then against that late challenge from Swarry, it must surely have been a penalty. But Funnel rode the challenge and went on for the shot. Swarry coming in from behind, missed him both times. Funnel went on, Brand made another good save. Funnel crosses, but well, that's just catching practice for Brand, who's shown a very competent pair of hands with the crosses. I fancy the only way he'll be beaten in the air is if the crosses can be pulled away from him at the byline. a good shot and it hit the bar and Shell scores well credit Price with the assist and credit Shell for following up and Lee will blame himself for not either holding it or turning it over the bar and that has spoilt the party Derek Shell scores against his former club In the 36th minute, Derek Charles gets his ninth goal of the season. And one that will give him a lot of satisfaction. Heffernan. Crawford. Sully. Funnel. Bournemouth have been uh, beaten at Dean Court this season only twice. Once in the league by Bradford City and once in the league cup by Fulham. Funnel. White. Yes, he did very well there, and Funnel gets the equaliser, and what a good goal that was! <laughs> Celebrations for Tony Funnel as he completes a great weekend. He became a father yesterday, today he gets the equalising goal that sets the Bournemouth fans celebrating prematurely and quite unnecessarily. And now, too much jubilation can spoil the occasion. Here's the goal. Fine bit of work by Steve Carter, twisting and turning to throw off Danny Barkley. Now he's made the space. Perfect cross, perfect header, 1-1. One, one. Well, Jim Davidson, a bit of a sad sight, this, isn't it, really? I, I don't know whether they thought it was the, the last whistle or what. I, just, I, just think, I don't think they're bad boys, they're just excited. And obviously, a tremendous moment for the club to get that equaliser. Yeah, super. I feel very sorry for Ian Lee. That's such a great season. His first time on television, he makes the only mistake I've seen him made. I swear that, as, I swear as true as I'm sitting on this bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> and the goal itself was a beauty, the Bournemouth goal. Oh, super. Yeah, Tony Funnel, wasn't it? Tony Funnel, yeah. Right. So we start again with a kick-off. Police of... Uh, shepherded the fans off the pitch and they're now trying to get them back over the fence onto the terraces Crawford Carter outside him on this near touch line Funnel there to help him too and it's a wrestling match now between Crawford and Pedic and the referee has given the free kick to Crawford
Crawford probably was fouled, but uh, he's doing his share back. He had such a firm grip on Petrick's shorts, there was a danger that the uh, Hereford man might get caught for indecent exposure. Forty-seven minutes since we kicked off in this second half. Mr. Bodnam has uh, checked his watch, and I think he'll probably allow us a bit more yet. Now he's made a quick dash for the tunnel, and it's all over. The end of Bournemouth's promotion season. A one-one draw against Hereford United. Derek Showers, the opening goal, and the equaliser from the new father, Tony Fung. And now the celebrations begin in earnest. Champagne to be uncorked. The fans wanting to greet their heroes. Ken Bailey, the England mascot, who uh, lives locally in the middle of the picture there with the grey topper. to a happy day at the end of a happy season for Bournemouth. On Wednesday they take off for New Zealand and a well-earned club tour, but for the moment there are still some celebrations to come inside. David Webb, the champagne bottle's about to be opened. Turn around, face the camera, how are you feeling? Brilliant, absolutely. Well, we're a bit disappointed we didn't go out of a win, we didn't play as well as we'd like to, but having said that, you know, it was very hard because we'd already got promotion. It's very hard to go for these last games. No good this champagne, look. Andy Crawford, well, come on in. Yeah. Enjoyed the season, obviously you have. Yeah, fantastic for all of us, wasn't it? Yeah. Was there a moment when you thought, yeah, this is going to be it? We are definitely going to go up. Um, when I joined the club, <laughs> <That's the lads. laughs> would you agree with that, lads? Was Andy Crawford the turning point? No. <laughs> you can't believe them, so there you are. <laughs> Trevor Morgan said no. Come on, Trevor. Oh, it was Trevor. <laughs> it was Trevor. You were the turning point. Right? Oh, me? No, I wasn't. Oh, everybody done well today. Second half, we fantastic. Everybody played well. We got a bit of a rollick in at half time. I think we deserved it, but I think we done well second half. Is it a happy club? Well, it is now, yeah. Thank you, David. It is now. Uh, David Webb is a manager. What kind of manager is he? Does he give you a stick? He does sometimes. Oh, he did at half time. I think we deserved it. So second half, as I say, we done well and got the result. Where's little Tony Funnel? Tony, where are you? Come on, Tony. Big round of applause for Tony Lance. His wife. <laughs> That's for champagne gone. Tony, many congratulations on the goal, on promotion. Come forward a bit. And of course, on the birth last night of a son. Yes, very nice. Congratulations to my wife. She's in hospital now, presumably. She's in hospital at the moment, yeah. Well, she could be watching the Sunday sports show. Any message you want to give to her at this moment? I love her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what they say. And, and why not? It was a smashing day, but those dressing room celebrations, incidentally, ended in something rather nasty. You can see what I mean at the end of the programme. Between now and then, we've Leeds versus Brighton.